Inflation Crisis in America Inflation in America In April, price increases moderated in the United States. However, annual inflation remained above a 40-year high, leaving many Americans unable to afford basic needs such as food, shelter, and gasoline. According to the latest Consumer Price Index CPI, prices rose at a monthly pace of 0.3% in April, down from 1.2% in March. This is the first drop since August 2021. However, it is still too early to tell if inflation has peaked. The annual inflation rate fell to 8.3% in April from 8.5% in March, although unchanged since the 1980s. The CPI food index jumped 9.4% year-over-year, the highest annual gain since April 1981. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell stresses that the Fed will continue to increase interest rates to resolve the ongoing inflation. Recently, the Fed increased its benchmark borrowing rates by half a percentage point, the second increase of 2022. Inflation is much too high, and we're moving expeditiously to bring it back down. Factors of inflation in America Inflation reached a 40-year high in 2022 due to three factors. First, fiscal stimulus measures allowed consumer spending to rise above pre-pandemic levels. Second, many people were either terrified or unable to return to work due to school or job closures, forcing them to stay home. Third, expenditure switched from in-person services to products, outpacing the goods sector's production capability. Spending should eventually cool and the budget imbalance shrinks considerably. The conclusion of the Omicron wave should encourage employees to return to work, therefore increasing the economy's output potential. It should also encourage a shift in demand away from things and toward underutilized capacity in in-person services. The Fed rapidly adopted an ultra-loose policy stance in reaction to the pandemic-induced recession in 2020, lowering short-term interest rates to zero and buying bonds to lower long-term rates. After ratifying the American Rescue Plan in March 2021, it should have started returning to a more neutral policy posture. However, neither the Fed nor most private analysts predicted an overheated economy until much later in the year. But before we continue, go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons. It takes a lot to make these videos. Your small actions tell YouTube to keep promoting our videos. Now back to the video. Effects on America's Households Inflation in the United States creates challenges to household budgets across the country. However, not everyone is impacted equally. Vice Chair of the Federal Reserve, Lael Brainard, remarked that while economic data reflects the broad trend of pricing, it does not convey the narrative of specific groups. Inflation mainly affects low-income households. They spend most of their earnings. Therefore, price hikes often eat away more of their earnings. When the cost of bare essentials like food and housing rises, the poor have little option to pay. A $10 weekly rise in food prices has a more significant impact on someone earning $12,000 per year than someone earning $50,000. The tendency for asset values to rise is one of the repercussions of inflation. Housing, the stock market, and commodities like gold tend to outperform inflation. If the price of items rises, customers will have to pay more for both necessities and luxury. This may not be an issue if salaries grow in lockstep with inflation but those who do not will see actual prices climb. People will have to spend a more significant proportion of their income on the same quantity of things. Inflation also pushes people into higher tax categories, resulting in increased taxes for some. If the brackets are not appropriately changed to the new reality, they will be worse off.